What's up, guys? Truth Be Told 92 doing our college football recap between the U of M, the Mighty Wolverines, and the stank ass Buckeyes. Anyways, I'm going to still say it. It's still going to be hell to, hell to the victors, baby. I don't care if we lose by one point or not. I still say we did pretty damn well this game despite all of the upsets. Because keep in mind, Ohio State only won by one point, which goes to show you they ain't all that. They ain't. But let's put it for what it is. And I'm going to go on and say it. Here's a, here it goes. I'm going to put it for what it is. Number one, get rid of Gardner, get rid of Funches, and get rid of Brady Hope. Okay? It don't make sense to have the same season after season after season after season with the same shitty ass plays and decisions, the same piss poor coaching. Get rid of Brady Hope. Get rid of the entire coaching staff if you just want to be honest. Because I'm about to go in. First of all, final score, 42 to 1. Here's my question to fat ass Brady Hope. First of all, why would you go for a two-point conversion knowing that Gardner sucks ass? Knowing he can't really throw precisely, knowing that he's either quick to throw an interception, get sacked, or cause a fumble. Knowing these things, why wouldn't you go for the field goal? Okay? I'm sorry, but y'all not all that. You know what I mean? So you should... Anyways, we could have went into overtime at least. At least it would have been tied. Damn. Then, let's look at the other things. All these drought plays and these screen passes and these slant passes, knowing that Gartner's throwing is not all that in the bag of chips because, let's face it, he wants to sit in the pocket. Basically, Devin Gartner is the black Tom Brady. He don't want to scramble for nothing. He doesn't want to do anything. He doesn't want to get hit. He doesn't want to do... He doesn't want to leave the pocket. And then the few times that he has decided to run. He either didn't get the first yard, got tackled and created a fumble, got sacked, or he ran and got a first yard and then slightly got injured. He's just not a, a scrambling running quarterback. He's not. Okay? He is the black Tom Brady. Self, you know, it's pretty obvious. Okay? Then you got Funches. This... How many damn drop passes is this dumbass going to get? I mean, honestly. What is so hard about holding the damn ball? Okay, this dude will drop a pass, miss a pass, fumble to, and suck. Okay, or get the ball that was thrown to him intercepted. Case in point, there was a throw that Devin Gardner did, and it was a good throw, and it went right through, it went right through Funch's hands. And that right there was a, a beautiful throw right into the red zone, right there for the touchdown. Went through Funch's hands. Then our offensive line sucks ass too because yes, Gardner can be doing much more and do much better than what he is, but let's face it. Our offensive line does not block, does not protect him at all. Hence why our drought plays suck, okay? Because nobody's blocking up front, okay? You allow Ohio State to run through your ass back to back to back to back to back to back to back, 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 okay? Offensive line sucks, okay? There's no if ands, buts about it. Our quarterback isn't all that either. <laughs> okay. Then let's look at our defense. Our defense sucks. You allow Braxton Miller and Hyde to run through your ass all day today. Okay. All day today. You did. You did. Now, granted, we did, I will, and I'm going to keep on saying it. We played them well. Because you think about it, 42 to 41, we only lost by one point. And Lord knows, if Brady Hope's stupid ass never did that two-point conversion, we could at least got a field goal, even though wild is not all that. But we could have at least got a field goal and could have went into overtime to see what happened. But Brady Hope, dumbass, didn't even give us that opportunity. He wanted to be cocky, and he did a two-point conversion, and that two-point conversion failed us. Lost by one measly damn point. But let's keep it real. Ohio State, you're not all that. And it was obvious today. Y'all almost lost. Y'all only won by one point. But I guess people are going to say a win is a win, right? But it just goes to show you that um, defensively, Ohio State doesn't have a good defense either because we were able to utilize Tucson, utilize Dilio, utilize Reynolds. You know, um, Funches was out there, even though he couldn't, you know, hold on to a ball half the damn time, but he was out there. We were able to make some 
some precise plays and get yards, and we were going into the red zone. And as you can see, this was a high-scoring game. It was literally back to back to back to back. And it actually honestly just came down to whatever team had the ball last was basically going to win. Because if you notice, you know, Ohio – and at first, and it's funny because remember, there was a brief moment where Ohio State was up by two points, you know, two touchdowns. It was – 35 to 21, and we came right back. So as you can see, Ohio State's defense is not all that. You can basically see that Michigan and um, Ohio State are offensive. They're offensive teams. They'll they'll get high scores, and they'll run back and forth. But they're not going to be able to hold the opponent off because both defense suck. But for Michigan, I'm just going to go on and say it. It's time for you to look at getting a new coach, new coaching staff. Um replace Gardner, get somebody else in there, and I'm just going to put it, make him second string or something, because it's just, it's just not, it's not there, okay, I'm sorry, but you need to be a, a, a well-versed quarterback, you can't just stand in the pocket all day, okay, and then offensive, his offensive line, you have to learn how to protect and block, you can't allow the opposing team to just destroy your quarterback and destroy running plays, so when we do draw plays, like, they couldn't even do that because they weren't blocking up front. Um, final score, like I said, 42 to 41. Um, despite everything, <laughs> it's still held to the victors. It's still held to the victors. I don't care. It's still held to the victors. I don't care. Um, also, who the hell does the scouting for Michigan? Because it seems like every year they get mediocre players and it's like, who the hell is doing the scouting? Because you guys get the trashiest damn players there are. But anyways, it's whatever. Final score, 42-41. Congratulations, stinking-ass Buckeyes. It's still hell to the victors over here. All right? Deuces.